Okay, so I'll, I'll start by talking about what we're, what we're doing, doing here in the Resort Stadium. Stadium. And specifically, kind of the start of the show outside of the incredible players that will be on it is this LED court. Um, <coughs> what you see right now is a court. Right? It looks, looks like a regular NBA court. It's like a game. What you're actually seeing is it's all video. Uh, none, none of the lines are there. None of the marks is there. It's all video. video. We can change it to anything that we want. So imagine how dynamic that is and kind of the feature elements that we can do throughout the game to enhance what's going on as a part of the competition. So if a shot goes in, we can do an embellishment on the floor, something that you would normally see on the video board. We can do it on the court. Uh, we have the ability to track players on the court. They wear a tracking device. They walk around. Uh, if you've played a video game and seen an icon underneath the player, it's just, just like, like that. that. We can do that on this court, um, which we're going to demonstrate. I'll have somebody walk across the court with a tractor, and we'll demonstrate that right now. She up there? So, so if you see some promotion in the court right now, walk through, through and you see the trail of stars following the person. So imagine players on the court during the celebrity game playing, and you can actually see their path and where they go. It's a, it's a pretty cool feature that we're able to do with this LED court. Uh, in addition to that, like I said, we've been manipulating the whole entire court. It's a different look. So when we're doing certain entertainment elements in the breaks, you'll see a completely different court. Uh, you want to transition to the, to the entertainment page? Something, something like, like this, this like, like this, 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 the technology has advanced to the point where we feel comfortable enough to put our players, our celebrities, on the court. It's been signed off by all the proper, proper uh, people, as well as been tested by all the third parties that we normally test in LA, an NBA court with as well. So again, the two major events that have in this building are our celebrity, which you just saw, and then in State Farm All Star Saturday night. So we're so seamlessly we go from one thing to another, uh, which is very helpful for us as we're rehearsing, and as well as enhancing the different things that we're going to do across all the events on that uh, on these nights. You'll see here we're going to transition to one of the event courts. So the starry uh, three-point contest looks like a completely different court. So, so for every, every single competition, competition that we do across all Saturday night, there'll be a completely different look for that event. event. Um, and again, there's enhancements on the court that we can do uh, throughout each one of the events, which I'm not going to give all the suits away. We have the same things that you can tune in on to and see uh, on Saturday. Saturday. But that's just kind of a glimpse of some of the different looks that we have, some of the things that we can do with this all-star court. I'll take questions. I'll take questions about the court. Is this, uh, is, is this the future of courts? Sure. sure. Is this the future of basketball courts for the NBA? The question is, is this the future of basketball courts for the NBA? I'll say this. It's not the immediate future. I think uh, there's a path towards it. We're not close to that being something that's ready for uh, installation in an NBA arena yet. There's a, there's a significant process that takes right now to install a court like this. If you're familiar with those NBA buildings, they're multi-purpose buildings, and they turn around from basketball to hockey to concerts, sometimes over the course of one day. You would not be able to do that with, with this court. Uh, it's too labor intensive to get the court out there at this point. So also, also this, this is the largest installation of an LED floor uh, of, this, of this type in the world, yeah, that's so it's the first time. <coughs> so there's, there's there's a process, process a learning process, process, process that we're going through with the, uh, the company that, that created the court to get, get the time down so that in the future, 
that could be a possibility. How much is that core worth? How much does it worth? Yeah. How much does it cost? How much does it cost? How much does it cost? How much does it cost the league? Well, well, I can't get into the specifics. Let's just say it's not cheap. More than twenty million? Oh, no, 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 not twenty. Ten million? I can't get into the specifics, but not twenty million. Okay, I'm so not going maple, any further. Would you say a maple floor is what? Three hundred thousand? What would you say a maple floor is? Maple floor is uh, could be anywhere from eighty-five to one twenty, depending on the volume of the painting. So, so the core, it's glass, but what else is in it? So, so the surface is the glass, glass, but underneath the glass are traditional LED panels, panels like, like, you, like you, you see up here on the screens here. Same, same type, type of LED panels, panels are underneath the, the glass, glass surface. surface. And there's a frame that those panels, panels are mounted into. into. There's, there's a whole process, processing process unit underneath. There's air conditioning, conditioning that goes underneath. Cool. It's, it's a pretty, pretty complicated uh, situation. Okay, you said it's been approved by all the people, but are players going to notice a difference when they're playing on this? So, so the NBA Players, players Association has done some good. Uh, players will, will notice the difference at first, but once, once you're out there, more than five minutes it goes away, it feels like a regular floor. Um, what, what we're doing to make sure that there's an impact in negatively is we're, we're kind of taking our time with the type of graphics and embellishments we do while they're playing. We don't want to distract them, that's the last thing we want to do. We only want to enhance all of the uh, Possibly. Have you heard like any going reaction? down on glass would be a lot more painful than going down on the floor. It seems that way, but it's actually the opposite. So, so a maple, maple floor, floor, if you were to rub it on the maple floor, you could get, get like a raspberry burn. burn. It doesn't, doesn't happen with this surface, surface because of the engineering and the way it's developed. So you talked about scouting this court basically last year in the process to bring it to the league. <laughs> Take us through that in the Cliff Notes version of how you scouted it out wound up here. Well, basically, we saw the interviews. We reached out to you, uh, got, got, got the information from them as to who produced for them. We got their reviews, all of their, um, all the documentation on all of their testing, which was pretty close to what we do for the NBA court. We reached out to the company ASP and started our relationship with them on the road to getting this here today. What does this added layer add to the complex of the people behind the scenes? Like, what does it take to run something like this throughout the game? So, so the core uh, question, the question was, was, what does it take to run something like this throughout the game? Is this a complicated process? Uh, basically, basically, there's a whole group of people that are specific to the program of the elements that are in this court. So, so imagine, imagine a, a video, video control, room, which would normally be controlling the jump 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 some, some, not, not exactly, exactly but, 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 but something, something similar, similar to that has to take place for the court itself. itself. Each, Each one, one of the dynamic moves, moves that have that my court is triggered either manually or automatically based on some action that happens, uh, statistical action that happens. About how many people are doing this? Like 10 people or? No, it's more than 10 times. I don't have that number, but I'll have it. We'll get that information. How many LED panels are in the court? Do you have a number? Well, I'm about to supply the actual, actual true information after this week get that to you. I don't, I don't want, want to do it wrong. So is it fair to say the court is almost like an optical illusion? The court isn't really there? Uh, he said, um, is it like an optical illusion the court isn't really there? No, no so it's basically a graphic, graphic image. image. So, so again, it's, it's like a television, television screen. screen. Um, what, what you, you see, see there is actually there. there. Um, and we have the ability to change the time. This is something the majority of fans are going to see for the first time, you know, probably All-Star Saturday night with being one of the most watched. What kind of reaction are you expecting from fans for really something that could uh, almost revolutionize the way we watch basketball? Our expectation is that the fans are going to really enjoy both the fans in the building and also fans at home. Um, one, one thing, thing that definitely, that definitely does is draw your, your eye to see what's, what's going on. on. And all, and all the enhancements and embellishments that we can do on the court when, when something happens positive uh, are only going to kind of further emphasize all of these incredible moments. So, so I, I think I'm going to get a really good fan reaction to it. Think about, about what we did for the MCC tournament, tournament and the reaction that the fans had at those courts. courts. We expect, we expect to be tenable for this. How important is it in just this era to have all this entertainment with fans to keep? getting them entertained. Is this sort of part of that process to bring new eyes to this and everything? Is it part of the process to bring new eyes to this to keep entertaining for the fans? 100%. Like I said before, we always want to be on the cutting edge of technology. 
and anything, anything that's going to bring fans uh, closer to the main, a bit more interested in what we're, what we're, we're doing. doing. We continually want to push the envelope there, there. Uh, because that's entertainment is key. key. Uh, entertainment is king. king. Content is king, king as well. well. So, so with a court like this, you need to do it at the same time. time. Uh, it was a process to get the court here. Um, we, we saw the court during the summer in the Women's U19 FIBA tournament uh, overseas. And from that point on, there was a lot of talk about would the NBA do something like this. Uh, at the league, we pride ourselves on being on the cutting edge. Uh, so we did a lot of research. We contacted the company that produces it, ASB, and started going through the process of getting an understanding of whether or not we would be able to bring this court here and, and make this come to fruition. Um, a lot of people worked on it to get us to this point, and, and it, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, we really look forward to showcasing two of our major events across All-Star Weekend here at Lucas Oil Stadium um, on this incredible AOD floor.